As we search for best observatory, as it boldly claims itself, I do like the confidence it better be good when we do find it. I am enjoying the amount of Western couples where clearly the boyfriend has been forced to dress up and traipse around all these sites taking photos. Um, yeah, I'm glad that Sarah didn't make me do that and it is so hot for it too. Yeah, oh, this is too funny. <laughs> Sorry. We are here in the best observatory tea house and the views up here are stunning. We can literally see where we were yesterday, where the palace is, the museum, and we pay 6,001 to get in. It's a museum, but it's also a tea house and you get a free drink with that. And we both went with the quince iced tea, which is very refreshing and lovely. And there's a really nice breeze up here. So yeah, needed it. It was so hot just now. So while you are resting, recovering, relaxing and reclining i don't know is that one i'll get i'll get away oh, with it on, i think oh, yeah go on lean Just lean back lean back there we go fat lean joe back. um yeah i have been researching what geomancy means and it is the coolest word i've heard in a long time as i keep saying and it is the arrangement of um architectural buildings in an auspicious manner so there we go i have learned something and i feel a little bit wiser for it and yes they are good at doing it what's auspicious Secret spot. Oh,
So they have created loads of really, really cute tea rooms and great spaces within the garden. Um, although it's obviously a busy tourist attraction, there's a space to get somewhere with a nice bit of solitude all out here. You could have had. Yeah. I know we could have sat here in this little temple. I imagine at one temple. point before the tourists came in, this was just someone's house in a private garden. And what a beautiful space it would be to have all to yourself on the rooftop here and all surrounding. Nice and walled, so nice and safe. So all in here, look, you can go in all these rooms as well. Hmm? So look, take your rooms off and have your own private little cabin. Ah, is anyone in there? Let's have a look. Hello, Tim. Come in. It's nice air conditioning in here as well. I mean, I thought it's behind me. It says, please close the door. Oh, you are. <laughs> that was nice and cool in here. Yeah. Now, this would be a great outdoor cabin. There we go. Even I'm getting involved in it now. <laughs> We're going to build the hut. We're going to have this cabin. And look at the wood at the top here. It's got like pine wood, doesn't it? Oh, it's obviously a modern structure. So look, here, I guess this is the original paper lining they would have had instead of glass. Oh. And these, this is going to be the size of the Zodiac here. Oh, that's us, oh, yeah. isn't it? Oh, I don't know. That's a rooster, I think it is. I don't, I don't remember uh, Lizard Man. Oh. Or someone from you know, what looks like Defenders of the Earth. What was the bad guy called from Defenders of the Earth? Oh, I don't know. But that's a rooster, look. There's a dog, there's a pig. Maybe that's the snake. Is there a snake? No, is there's a snake? monkey. The goat. The, is there a horse? Yeah, there is a horse. Maybe a snake. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, the rabbit. Okay. Park. And then turn right, you can find the, the ticket booth. Okay. And get your ticket and then you can enter Chung, Chung Dok Chung. So that was a good timing. So we didn't know how to get to this park that we wanted to. And there's two people standing on the side of the street here and they're just tourist guides. So we just asked them, they gave us a map, told us where to go, how much it costs and Bob your uncle. And they are masters of playing the game of guess the nationality as we went past. Obviously they said hi to us in English, they said hi to someone in Japanese, and I think they said hi to someone in Spanish, so perhaps we have uh, some polyglots on the case down there, but yeah, that's uh, cool, really friendly and a... Uh, Great service! Yeah, I've never seen that before. <laughs> and we have our leaf blower, anywhere in Asia. You've got your trusted leaf blower. Team money, team money. So our team money card actually can get us into tourist attractions. So we are now in the Chang Diok Gung Palace, <laughs> and I have all the information that we are going to need to inform ourselves and you. I'm going to get reading. And um, yeah, got a nice refreshing ice cream. But that was cool. So it's the three thousand one to get in, and there was a ticket booth around the corner. But the lady said, "Use your team money." So team money, team money. So, on a quick peruse, I'm going to say that this palace is known for its gardens. 
and it was one of the uh, royalty's favourite. Um, okay, give me a bit more time. I just enjoy my ice cream. Chang Diok Gung Palace, it is a world UNESCO heritage site and I feel that everything that I'm going to need to know is definitely going to be in this pamphlet, so let's have a little peruse. So look at the map, it is a big complex and I think one of the main things about it is it has a lot of gardens. It uh, was constructed in 1405 as a secondary palace of the Joseon dynasty. Um, and it was destroyed in 1592 again by the Japanese. It seems like they came through Seoul and they just rampaged it. Um, it was rebuilt again in 1610 and it served as uh, the main palace for about 270 years. We're sitting in front of the throne room here and that is a grand archetypal kind of structure when I think of an Asian palace. And it was a palace that was loved by the kings of the Joseon dynasty and they were in power from 1392 to 1910 which is absolutely insane that truly is a dynastic rule um, and they loved it because of the beautiful gardens and the space um, and this was a palace where the kings and queens strolled and uh, they got involved in horticulture and i think hunting and the things that royals like to do and I reckon this is a little bit like perhaps Richmond Park was to the uh, the Windsors or the Haps Coburg Gothers if you um, want to go back in time. Um, so the secret garden was intended as a place for the kings and the royal family members to relax but it was also a venue for various outdoor activities. There were military exercises and archery contests held there along with banquets um, and uh, all the prominent uh, kings and high-ranking ministers would come and uh, chill out I guess um, painting going on that kind of thing so I think it was a bit of like a country retreat in the city and uh, yeah I would have probably preferred it if there was a bit of outdoor space as well the weather today is scorching it is so so hot literally I was begging for the rain to stop and it has, and now I'm wishing that the cloud You've got would just... what you wanted. Exactly. Yeah, careful what you wish for. I'm like, can we have a little bit of cloud coverage, please? Um, so yeah, we are in the shade right now, um, but it's it's been good. We've been here for four days, and we've seen a uh, Seoul or Korea um, in different shades of light. So rainy, dry, sunny. Um, yeah, and it's good to be sightseeing in this weather. But it's really nice with these these little walkways because there's a lot of shade. the beams that jut out they've all got what looks like is that a lotus leaf then I also like if you look down below now I've just spotted it I like the train <laughs>
kichu. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll leave you. Go for you to the kichu is a cloud. A cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a cloud. Sky, yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Today is very good. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Have a good time. Do you stay in Korea? <laughs> Get all the important stuff done. This has been leaking on me ever since we've had it. So Sarah, what do you think of these patterns? Are they fitting for your colouring book? They are, I like it. I just need colouring pencils. We do not need any more colouring pencils. What do you mean more? I have none. Yeah, I know, that makes it really pointless though. We've got a colouring book, no colouring pencils, but I'm adamant we don't want pencils. Can I want carry even more? I've got double shade going on here, hat shade, tree shade, double shade sounded not very nice. Um, but we are just here waiting for Jace, I think he'll be here in about 25 minutes. We were considering going into the secret garden, um, it's 5,000 won to get in, which is about three pounds, but you do have to go on a tour guide. Um, so yeah, the next one's in about 20 minutes, so we're trying to weigh up our options. Yeah, let's see what Jace wants to do. I don't know if he's done the tour of sightseeing stuff to death, but they are announcing over the tannoy that you must not smoke in here. And yeah. having read the information and knowing everything there is to know, it does seem like these palaces have burnt down quite a few times, so they're probably keen not to uh, relive that nightmare. But you can sing and dance at this one, so this Doesn't is what I mean. Though. They do get snow here, look. That's snow. Awesome it's time to play that game again. My favourite things about Korea. Are you ready? Uh, no, you stop. Oh, okay, I'm going to say that they are masters of queuing. The way they do it on and off the subway is something to behold. Um, they have a very in-depth um, train system and yeah, it's very organised, clean and spacious. Oh, that's kind of got to be my one, I think. I'm going to say for my next one that they have had a distinct lack of mosquitoes here. First time all trip, haven't had to worry about them. Yeah, no mosquitoes. Um, I like their lighting their, and their, their writing and when you go down you see the signs lit up and yeah. Okay, I like the fact that they only have cute little miniature dogs here and there's nothing vicious that can kill you. I like the fact that they have toilets pretty much everywhere. So they have them in all the stations, uh, the stations we've been at. They're always really clean um, and yeah. I like the fact that they have loads and loads of dynastic history on display and it's really affordable. They are, there's no barrier to entry. It costs virtually nothing to get in, even though everything else is really, really expensive. Our transport is cheap. Uh, yes, I like the Korean dress sense as well. They, they all look quite uh, trendy, quite clean, crisp and clear cut. I don't know okay. what that means, but it looks good. I am a convert to the hot pot. We kind of figure out how to do it now, but they generally do it for you here. So you sit down and someone cooks it for you in front of you. So you get the performance with none of the, uh, the pressure and stress. Although I still feel the pressure and stress when ordering, but yeah. Um, and I don't know anything else right now. I've only been here four days. That's me done. I'm gonna say all in all, I've really enjoyed the trip here. We've had a guide to show us round, and I would say that Seoul is the most similar feeling to London. So different area of it, areas of it feel like different areas of London. So where we're staying feels quite central, perhaps Soho. Down in Gangnam, it felt a bit like South Bank. Yeah. Um, then they've got the financial district that feels a bit like Canary Wharf. Um, and then all the, uh, the historical palaces, well, I guess we could uh, equivocate them. Equivocate, is that a word? I don't know. Let's check. Oh, uh, go on. Uh, also- To our, to our uh, castles. Also, I do like they're very, very organised. They're very efficient. 
they see a problem, they try to um, sort it out. So like for example, when it was pouring down at rain before the doors um, of like department stores or even on the transport, they have these little cleaner that you put your umbrella in and you like rinse off all the extra water so you don't bring it into the- They um, have thought of thing. absolutely everything. They have. Yeah, so equivocate was clearly the wrong word to use. It means ambiguous, which is what most of my facts, figures and information uh, tend to be. So always double check me um, and leave it in the comments if you catch me out. You probably will multiple times per episode. Um, but I do want to build upon the knowledge of the Korean script, which has uh, really interested me. So not only is it a phonetic language, but it is one that has been drawn pictorially to represent the movements of the mouth when pronouncing the sound as well. And that seems like absolute double genius. And Jace did kind of explain it to me, and some of the characters he says are a bit of a leap of faith. But some of them you clearly can recognise when you say them, and the movements of... Uh, the mouth and the tongue um, so yeah a very artistic and creative way um, to go about doing it so Sir John you truly are a king also what's really good about this park is you can find so many places so many shady places. So one pound fifty or one pound seventy, I think it is, and you can find a really tranquil place, not not get disturbed by anybody, and get some shade, or you can get a hat like mine. We are playing a game of where's Jace. Apparently he's behind us, but maybe he is hiding somewhere because. We've looked all directions of behind, but behind me now. I'm behind you. We have some more costumed uh, people heading into the um, temple, temple palace. And I do like playing the game of would they be a bad guy or a good guy if they were in a film? And I think he would definitely be a bad guy. He looks like he's got a big tall hat, perhaps with the priest class, plotting to assassinate Sir John. Yeah, 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 yeah.